Hi Trad, congratulations on reaching 300 AFL games. Wow. To reach the level you have after such heartache in your life of losing your dad shows the true character of the man you have become. I know I speak for your dad as well when I say we are so proud of all that you have achieved on and off the field. I remember the day you showed him your all Australian uniform while he was having chemo. His eyes lit up with so much pride and joy. Enjoy your brekkie with your teammates today. Congratulations. Well done, thank you so much. been a pretty crazy week, uh, pretty emotional early in the week obviously with um, not knowing where we're going, a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, mum being in Adelaide, hoping we'll play in Adelaide and then and then she had to come back here and uh, she'll watch from home but I know that she, all my family and, and friends will be there supporting uh, from, from home so that'll be that'll be special but um, yeah I'm excited, I'm ready to go, it's been a, uh, it's been a good couple of days, last night was really special. Now I'm just ready to go out and play footy and get full points and uh, hopefully uh, stay in the top four. When I think 300 games, I think of like older veterans and it's, I don't feel like that. So it's, it's yeah, it's quite, um, it's quite strange, but it'll be, it'll be a special moment. There's no doubt about that. After my career's finished, I'll look back on it and be super proud of, of what it means. But I, I feel like, yeah, right now it's just kind of all blended in a little bit. I'll just be excited to be with my teammates, with my family, with my friends, going out there and doing what I love for the 300th time. Today we're here painting uh, a mural of Travis Boak. Um, we're celebrating his 300th game. Red Bull has made this project happen and we've just been like super stoked to come out here and, and paint something really beautiful for the community. <laughs> the, the footy club is just uniquely important and, and it's just been such a part of the culture of this place and, and just in the heart of the people of in Port Adelaide. It means so much to them to have their club down the road and there's just die-hard fans down here like you wouldn't believe. So yeah, just super important. The thing that we talk about most about the Port Adelaide Footy Club is the family, community type atmosphere that we've created here. I reckon that comes from the grassroot level of you know community feel of the Port Adelaide area. It's gone through the SNFL with all the premierships they've won and then into the AFL and, and that feeling has not changed. Now, I remember playing all my juniors at Torquay, uh, being around the footy club, watching dad play there and you go and have a beer after a game and all your mates are there cheering on you know, the sidelines, it's kind of like that feeling. At the end of the day, life is about connection and, and that's what local footy clubs, community footy clubs and this footy club is about. Uh, have you seen this, man? Fuck. Crazy. How sick is that? Where's that? It's down back in Port Adelaide. Bullshit. Yeah, man. What? Yeah, how sick is that? Who did that? <laughs> oh my god. Pretty sure Red Bull teed it up. Three hundred games. No way. That's sicker. Oh, that's amazing. What? <laughs> 